Stick with the environment. Uh, Mr. Negron, you said in a recent debate that smart people need to look at climate change. A recent report from the UN included all sorts of experts. Their conclusion is that the world is in a dire situation. So if those aren't the smart people you, you mean, who are the, the ones you want to hear from? Well, you can read that report. You know, let's understand where we got to this point, right? So there was a Kyoto Protocol that happened in 92 that brought everybody together about talking about carbon emissions. Um, and then this, this one in France was, uh, instead of making an amendment to the Kyoto Protocol, they put out this, this, the, the Paris um, Accords. What we saw in uh, 2017, which is the results of the latest data, is that we, the United States, have reduced our carbon footprint by 0.05% without having mandates against us, without a carbon tax. If you want to look at what's going on with some of these issues, you have to look at the person in a country like China that's giving 24% of the carbon issues that's out there. India's third. So, you know, when the president backed out of the Paris a, 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 de a deal, which had no enforcement mechanism at all, he's doing the right thing. You know, this country is doing the right things on its own. Um, you know, we need to make sure that the world is out there making sure of it, you know, but to look at the United States and point their fingers at us and everybody saber rattling that we in the United States have to be doing something, I'm doing something on our own without having any mandate, I think is the right way to go and I think we're pushing the ball forward. All right, Congressman Custer, uh, Mr. Negron supports President Trump on this. Um, President Obama called climate change the greatest threat to future generations. Where does it rank among your top concerns and would you support a carbon tax to, 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 well, to deal it's, with it? I'm not alone in this. It's my constituents who come forward and talk about how the change in our climate is impacting their lives. Right here in New Hampshire, it's impacting tourism with the ski areas and um, the moose being covered with ticks and we're losing our moose, iconic moose population. Um, so what I think we should do is use the New England example, the regional greenhouse gas initiative that's been so successful and uh, my opponent has said he doesn't think it's urgent. I think it's very urgent. And there's no reason for this president to go back and be investing our tax dollars in fossil fuels, in coal, in oil, rather than the clean energy economy. I'm part of a bipartisan group that is um, looking at how we can invest in clean energy, use our tax credits to incentivize those, those sources, and we create new jobs, we build the economy, and save the planet. It's a win-win-win. Thank you, Congresswoman Custer.